Good morning children today we are going to study the chapter 2 latitude and longitude now in the previous lesson we learned about the globes and maps now we're going to learn how we can use the latitude and longitude to read the globe and map now if you look very closely to the globe uh, that is there on the screen you will see that there are several lines which are running from north to south and east to west now what are these lines and are they really found on earth can you really point out on earth that this is a latitude or this is a longitude no these are imaginary lines they are we are they are only imagined we have only uh, thought of them they are not they do not exist now what are these lines for these are imaginary lines that help us to find the exact location of a place on a map or a globe these are imaginary lines of latitude and longitude now latitudes are imaginary lines that run from east to west they encircle the earth horizontally these lines are parallel and lie at an equal distance from one another hence they are also known as parallels of latitude now the length of the latitudes increases as we move away from the poles towards the center of the earth there are 181 lines of latitude and the length of the lati latitude increases as we move away from the poles now these latitudes are labeled in degrees so that we can find uh, find it easier to locate a place okay so if you uh, pay attention on the screen you can see that there's this black line in the middle of the earth which is marked as 0 degrees okay so that is how and as we go towards the north pole it will be marked in different terms now in this picture you can see that the line which crosses right across the middle of the earth at the center of the earth is the equator it is a latitude which divides the earth exactly at the center and it is the longest latitude now what is also special about the equator is that the equator divides the earth into two equal halves now these halves are known as the hemispheres the part which is above the equator is called as the northern hemisphere and the part which is below the equator is known as the southern hemisphere now let's come across to longitudes okay now longitudes as you can see in the picture are the vertical lines which are running across the face of the globe now longitudes are also imaginary lines that run from north to south and they are not parallel uh longitude latitudes like i said were parallel to each other but longitudes are not parallel but all longitudes are of the same length and they all meet at the poles just a re recap poles are the extreme points of the earth so the extreme point in the northern hemisphere is the north pole and the extreme point of earth at the south is the su south pole particular thing about the equator about the long longitudes is that they widen at the when they reach the equator now longitudes are important indicators of time they are called meridians prime meridian is the meridian that passes through royal observatory at greenwich near south london it is the 0 degree meridian now there are 180 lines of longitude and are numbered from 0 degree to 180 degree there are a total of 360 longitudes in all now let's study the prime meridian a little more so longitudes to the east of prime the prime meridian are indicated with degree east and the in the, uh, the lo longitudes to the west of the prime meridian are indicated with degree west okay so prime meridian is 0 degree and it divides the earth into two parts the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere longitudes to the east of the prime meridian are indicated with degree e which is read as degree east and longitudes to the west of the prime meridian are indicated with degree w which is read as the uh, degree west 
Now another important meridian is the international date line at 180 degree longitude. The international date line marks the difference of date between the eastern and western hemisphere. Now there is a difference of time between each longitude and that is the time differences of 4 okay of 4 minutes so every difference every longitude the, the difference of time between bo uh, every longitude is going to be 4 degrees and that is very particular so now we are going to see how latitudes and longitudes are used to locate places now as you can see on the screen the picture shows that there is a grid pattern that you can see of the latitudes and the longitudes on the globe it is a network formed by the latitudes and the longitudes and each line is numbered okay so now the grid helps to accurately locate places on globes and maps exact location can be found easily by finding where the latitude and a longitude cross so you will find two numbers so there will be one number of the latitude and one number of the longitude now for example you want to find delhi so how will we search for delhi you can look at the atlas and you can look for delhi okay india's atlas you can find that and you can look for the lines that run across the atlas now when you do that you will see that there is a longitude which will be marked as 77 degree east now this is the vertical line so where that will be crossing now we have to look at the latitude the long latitude which will cross it so now delhi will be found at 29 degree north latitude and 77 degree east longitude okay so that is how we can find delhi on the atlas similarly we can find any place on earth using the pattern the grid pattern and finding where the latitude and the longitude cross each other now longitudes also help to calculate time so it's a very another important aspect of the longitudes now they help in calculating time and like i told you before that the difference between two consecutive yaniki the longitudes which are right next to each other the difference between them is four minutes so when we travel towards the prime meridian we need to add keep adding four minutes on each passing meridian so zero degree we keep adding four degrees each to the next longitude and when we travel westwards from the prime meridian when we are passing towards the west from the prime meridian then we need to subtract four meridians four minutes as we pass at each meridian so that is the difference so when you're coming to the east you're going to keep adding four minutes and when you're going to the west you're going to delete subtract four minutes that is how time is calculated and that is why you have different time zones on the globe on earth now the moment we cross to the east of the international date line we again have to add a day because all the um, time that we have been adding or subtracting that is going to add to a day or delete a day it's going to cross it's going to uh, subtract a day okay so similarly now i'll just tell that once again the moment we cross to the east of the international date line it uh, a day is going to be added and similarly if we cross to the west of the international date line we lose a lose or subtract a day okay so like suppose now the current time at prime meridian is 12 noon now you all know prime meridian i had told you all is at zero degree okay so the time at prime meridian is 12 noon and suppose there's a place at four degree east longitude okay so four degree east now like i had told you to calculate time you need to add four minutes when we go to the east and delete uh, subtract four minutes when we go to the west so if a place is at four degree east longitude obviously we are going to add four four minutes at each longitude so the time at location a which is at four degree east will be 12 16 pm okay and suppose the b location is at four degree west longitude then the time is going to be at 11 44 am why because we have added as we have gone to each meridian four four minutes at each meridian 
and so you so when we reach location a which is at four degree east you are going to be the time is going to keep adding by four minutes each at each longitude and so it's going to be 12 16 pm and similarly when we come to the west there will be a difference of four day, uh, four minutes at each location so then each meridian is going to be deducted by four minutes so as so that's why when we come to location b which is at four degree west the time is going to be 11 44 am okay so this brings us to the end of the chapter i hope you all are able to find the video informative in case of any doubts please do find please feel free to get in touch thank you